What about uh, the uh, the independent state of Donetsk as well as uh, Luhansk at this stage? Because you know, I believe that even in the last round of negotiations, uh, there was some sort of common ground uh, that both sides achieved uh, as far as NATO uh, membership was concerned. But but the independence of uh, the separatist states that was under question. So. The, the question is, uh, at least from the Ukrainian side, uh, regarding the Ukrainian citizens who are now in these territories about their future as well. Um, if we look at past conflicts and similar strategies Russia has pursued in the past, um, in Transnistria, uh, South Ossetia, Abkhazia, and even Crimea, I mean, the, the effort would be to create essentially military bases on these territories in the Donbass and these so-called independent um, republics, and then to pave their way into incorporation into the Russian Federation. So I think that question would remain again, and that would be a concern for Ukraine, what would happen to their people yeah. and their citizens if these territories are incorporated officially into the Russian Federation eventually. Yeah, I mean, the, the, under Minsk too, Russia was was willing to let those uh, those territories remain as part of Ukraine, but that would seem now to be off the table. But interestingly, you mentioned what uh, President Zelensky said about his NATO position. Why has nobody acted on that? That was a, a full week ago now. Isn't it time for NATO to stand up and say, OK, we're willing to, uh, to discuss this? Well, there is not much to discuss in, in a regard that Ukraine's NATO membership was never really on the table. Right, but um, it, it still has not been explicitly ruled out. And doing so would end this conflict, wouldn't it? I don't think this would end this conflict because this conflict was not originated by NATO expansion. NATO, uh, NATO hasn't expanded into Ukraine and Ukraine had no opportunity essentially to join it. Um, Vladimir Putin's government has made it very clear that it will seek... Uh, to regain territory and influence in the former Soviet space. And it has done so since the 90s in Moldova, in two, then it did so again in the 2000s in Georgia, it annexed Crimea in 2014. Right. So right. this is not a question of NATO's expansion.